Hello, hello. I'm coming to you with another sports card show pickup video. And this one covers uh, two shows. Um, uh, and both shows were put on by Sports Cards of Houston. And they cover the see uh, May 4th and May 18th shows here in 2019. Um, uh, the first one, the first month, uh, the fourth. Fourth was the I-10 show, and then uh, the 18th was the I-45 show. I'm shooting this on uh, Sunday, the 19th of May, and between the two shows, I bought over, I'd say a little over a thousand cards and one box of cards. So I'm not going. Obviously, I'm not going to show you all of them. Uh, it would take a few videos. I'm just not going to do that. It'd, it'd be crazy. And um, oh, before I get going to show you the cards you know the back the backdrop here is a uh, grand prize from uh, sports cards of Houston uh, that I won earlier in the year nice 16 by 20 picture autograph picture of DeAndre Hopkins and um, as, as those of you who watch my videos on a regular basis my pick up and haul videos know I like to get you usually like to give you all something else to listen to besides my voice and this is a uh, Music uh, uh, scores or parts of scores that Ennio, Ennio Morricone, I think I butchered his last name, has done over the years. It's uh, The album is called Once Upon a Time in the Cinema, which is a takeoff of Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Uh, yeah, just various, various movies he's done over the years. Right now it's playing, uh, I guess, the theme to In the Line of Fire. Anyway, let's keep on going. I'm going to show you. Uh, well, let me show you the some two dollar cards that I picked up at, the, at yesterday's show. The reason I got these is because I want a ten dollar door prize, and so I got five two dollar cards. Uh, let's start off with. Uh, I'm not sure what year this is. Guess what? The last few years, uh, Bowman Best Carlos Correa. Sorry about the glare from the plastic and it. Not really nice card, and uh, that's one baseball card. I, one baseball card I got for two dollars, and the rest, the other four, from football. Nice John Elway die cut. And there's a little hologram in the lower right hand corner, and I got a uh, let's see what year. Ninety four uh, tops finest Brett Favre. This is a nice. Uh, Tops Chrome, I guess a uh, purple holofoil parallel from uh, was it 2014, I think. And the last uh, two dollar card is of uh, also DeAndre Hopkins, and it's numbered 139 out of 199. It's a nice uh, die cut card, Crown Royals. So who did this? Uh, Oh, Panini. There's the back end. Now, I guess I go on to the, uh, the 50 cent football cards I got. Uh, Tom Brady. Couple of JJ Watts. Tops Finest. JJ Watt. Similar. Strata. I said, oh, I think this is from 1971 Tops. Got a bunch of those cards. Most of them are in the binder. Not sure what year this is from. Maybe somebody can tell me in the comment section. A nice old one. And the last two aren't in great condition. Or last three, but eh, they're old ones. That can't go wrong for 50 cents, I guess. Another one from that set. Stupid glare. And this is Wonder Bread All Star Series. From it looks like that top that they did with tops in 1976. And then this is from I think 82 tops. Franco Harris in action. Okay. Oh. Let me show you the 
Let me get to the other 50 cent cards. Uh, baseball cards. 92 post. Ken Griffey Jr. All, Tom Seaver All-Star Fleer sticker. Oops, sorry. 90, I think this is from 92 gold leaf insert set. The 87 Fleer stickers. I've got a Don Manley. And then this one's another Fleer, but it's not a sticker set. It's a, from 1986 Clement Edition Reggie Jackson. This is a Rod Crew from 73 Tops. Not in good condition, but still, it's Rod Crew. 1984 Tops. Andre Dawson. Mike Schmidt. Not sure what year this is, but it's a uh, Kellogg's. Carl Yaskrimski, 1982 Dunder Diamond King. Kirby Puckett, uh, 1985 Tops rookie. Yeah, I only got this one for only 50 cents, and it's in really good condition. See, this is from a newer top set. This is a Johnny Bench. I don't know if this is a parallel or not, but it's numbered, uh, let's see, 34 out of, out of 175. George Brett, uh, Fleer Sticker. 1987 Dunders, the rookies, Mark McGuire. This is uh, from 1990 Dunders, Juan Gonzalez rookie card. It's the uh, reverse negative. First time ever owning one of these cards. Let's see, 1981 Fleer, Gary Carter. 1986 Dunders, Ozzie Smith. The wizard and taken of the wizard for this is from there's like night some 86 Fleer subset I think, I think it's totally separate from the main series uh, 1982 post Cal Rickman Jr. And this is a uh, tops gallery I'm not sh not sure what year it is was Cal Rickman Jr. This is a uh, from the same set, Mike Trout. Another Mike Trout Bowman, 2016 Bowman, Mike Trout. Uh, let's see, post rookie star uh, Jeff Bagwell. See, this is an upper deck uh, power rally insert, I guess, of Jeff Bagwell. Looks like a, let's see, 1984 Dunders, Bill Doran. Looks like it's an autographed. Someone probably got him at a show or stadium or through the mail, I'm not sure. Let's see, uh, Ulyski Guriel rookie card from Bowman Chrome. Let's see, this is 1975 Tops Jose Cruz. Gotta love the color scheme. At least I do. See, 2019 uh, tops Jose Altuve. Kind of got he's injured right now. Gotten off to a slow start, really slow for him. Uh, 92 bo uh, post Nolan Ryan. Let's see, Stadium Club. It's either 90, 93, I think, or I think 93 Stadium Club. The Nolan Ryan OPG, not sure of the year, but OPG Nolan Ryan. And this is a uh, tops, 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 tops. Not sure what, maybe Heritage. I'm not sure. Have an old picture of him, probably towards the start of his career. And this, this is a tops Heritage of Nolan Ryan from his Mets days. I guess the picture is either so what, 68 or 69. Here's a Topps Gallery, Nolan Ryan. I like the fact that he's in a Astros uniform there. 
This is a Legendary Cuts SP Nolan Ryan. Nice gold border. And the last 50 cent card is uh, Topps Chrome Golden Moments Nolan Ryan. Okay, now that's all the 50 cent and up cards. Now uh, the the 50 the 10 cent cards I got for football are pretty much from the set uh, from two sets. Oops, let me show. Let's see which one I want to do. Yeah, I guess I'll show. I got a bunch. I show these first. I got a bunch of 1985 tops. I'm not gonna show you each one because it, it would take forever, and the reason why is because look how thick the stack is. I've got some others of these that I've got at earlier shows, and these would be good binder material. I mean, I guess most of them are commons. I guess a few stars here and there in them, but you know, for ten cents, you're not gonna get a lot of star cards. Uh, that and then I then also got 1986 tops. These are already in numerical order where the previous cards weren't. So that's why the record breaker's on top there. See, so that's of uh, Lionel James. Let's see. Yeah, so, and I'm not going to show you each one here because of these because this is also a really thick stack. I've gotten some of these as well from earlier shows and they're already in binders. So, add this to the collection. And, let's see, I'm not going to show every single, t I think I said earlier, I'm not going to show every single 10 cent cards. I'm going to show some of the highlights. Uh, I've got a bunch of 19, uh, well not a bunch, a stack of 1976 uh, tops. And this is a, not a real thick stack. But, but anyway, and also got 1970. Oops, so I can get it up here. Come here, you dumb card. Uh, 1977 tops. Not a little bit, little bit thicker than the previous one. Or yeah, a few cards thicker. And also got this one's uh, the thickest. Of the baseball stacks I have. This is of 1978. Get my thumb out of the way there without losing these cards. 1978, and look how thick this is. Again, 10 cents each. Binder material. That's 1970, let's say 8. Now also got 1979 tops. Show you the top card there. Show you how thick the stack is. Good size stack. Now so got 19. That was 70. Yeah, 79. Sorry, that was 79. And this is 1980. Yeah, deep, decent stack there. And then let's see, 1981 tops. This is a decent sized stack as well. Oh, no let's see, 1980, that's what, 81? This is 82. So, yeah, how thick the stack is here. Gary Guy 80 there on top. Oh, and there's, yes, you've got a really thin stack of 1984 tops. I got some others that are, that are, that are already in binders. And I got a small stack of 1985 tops. See, I got Dunderous, 1981 Dunderous. Nineteen eighty-two Dunderous. Shoot, I got. Oh, I got 
three cards from 1983 Dunners. A little bit thicker stack of uh, 1984 Dunners. Mm, there we go. And a little bit thicker stack of 1985 tops. I mean Dunners. And let's see. Uh, there's some leaf on here. Uh, leaf, uh, leaf versions of the same set that are towards the bottom of the stack. I'll put those separate in the binder once I do that. And then the last Dunners is from 1986. Also got some. Uh, let's see, how am I on time? We're running short. Oh, I got. Couple, let's see, one. Yeah, I only got a. Let me put Tom Seaver on the top here. I only a couple Fleer 1981. 1982, yeah. A fairly good stack of 1982 uh, Fleer. Jim Palmer there on top. Decent stack. 1982. Three Fleer. Nineteen eighty three. Not from eighty no, not from eighty four, but you got a kind of a small stack from eighty five Fleer. And got a few here from uh nineteen eighty six uh Fleer. Also got, let me see, get that out of the way. A stack of, uh, I guess Kmart and Tops got together and they, they had 20, I guess for Kmart's 20th anniversary. Good size stack there. I like these oddball ones. Okay, that's the last of the individual cards I'll show. And the one box I got was, and I've been looking for this for a long time. Well, several, at least a few months. Uh, 1993 uh, Top Stadium Club Series 2. I had bought Series 1 and 3, I guess, second half of last year at uh, my local card shop. I bought this at, at the show for uh, uh, $10. I think it's a pretty good deal. Still, still wrapped. Anyway, I'm running short on time. If you liked what you saw here, please hit the Subscribe, like button, notification bell so you can get updates and share on social media if you do that sort of thing. If you would, uh, I'll be going to the TriStar show here in, a, I guess, a couple weekends. June 7th through the 9th at Energy Arena. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a good one.